A local private school told families this week that it will be dropping its planned racial diversity curriculum, saying it was getting backlash and parts of the curriculum caused, quote, angst. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean is live tonight from the Bowles School's San Jose campus. Joe, the school is now looking for a new program. It is, and the letter that uh, laid all this out by the school was first reported by the Florida Times Union. And as a reminder, this is the same school that earlier uh, this last summer was the subject of criticism online by current and former students who had said that they experienced instances of racism on the campus here. On Tuesday, the chair of the Board of Trustees and the head of school of the Bowles School sent out a letter saying the school would not be moving forward with a specialized racial diversity initiative created by the nonprofit group Pollyanna. The reason, quote, we realized that certain elements of the Pollyanna curriculum created much angst amongst our community. To be clear, it was never the school's intention to adopt the entire curriculum, but rather to only utilize those components that fit Bowles. I asked the school to elaborate on what it meant by angst and what backlash the curriculum received. A spokesperson for the school said, quote, some people really wanted it and some really didn't. So our board decided to seek other resources. At least we are all having the conversations that need to happen. Last spring, Bowles was among at least three local private schools that were the target of social media criticism by current and former students. Through anonymous Instagram posts to the account Black at Bowles, the students and alumni described their experiences with instances of racism at the school. It launched an online campaign to demand top leaders step down. It also prompted the school's leadership to adopt a host of diversity and inclusion initiatives at the four Bowles campuses. A diversity, equity and inclusion task force was formed. An independent investigation of the social media allegations was launched and a new parent association group called Parents for Positive Change was created. And this story drew hundreds of Facebook comments on our News for Jack's Facebook page. One viewer wrote, Having true, intentional, and meaningful conversations regarding discrimination, prejudice, and biases should raise some level of emotion. And if not, then it's not doing its job. Two other area private schools, Bishop Kenny and Episcopal, were uh, also called out on social media last summer uh, uh, by former students. Uh, they've also since launched uh, a different uh, uh, racial diversity equity programs. Today, I asked those schools how those programs are going. You can read those updates on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.